Hi guys. I'm probably going to regret trying this because I've tried before and failed. But I've just had a takeaway chip, fish and chip supper, and the chips came in this little polystyrene tray. It is quite small. See the size of my hand. And I thought, why don't I have one more go at making the hovercraft? using the fan out of this USB notebook cooler that comes from Poundland. So it cost me a pound and it has a small fan in it. Last time I tried it, it just wasn't powerful enough to do the job. But I did use a slightly larger polystyrene tray. So I'm going to try this and I'm going to see if I can find my uh, battery out of my wife's camera that drowned, that's a 3.7 volt battery, and see if that's enough to spin this and light enough for it to lift off the ground. That's my wife's battery out of her camera, a waterproof camera that I drowned on holiday. So that's 3.7 volts and it's relatively light. Can't think of any use for that bit. So I can go in the bin. And that's our fan. couple of little bits of hot glue to hold it in place. I shall cut this polystyrene cup to give us a little bit of a, um, not sure what you called it, intake. I just tested it and nothing much happens, which is rather what I expected, but I shall add a skirt underneath. leave that to dry a bit all up together so got my plastic bag on there with a few little holes to let the air out so that should inflate but it's hopelessly underpowered I'll just connect the battery up it's only just inflating the bag certainly not enough to lift it. So that's another failed hovercraft. If you want to see a hovercraft that really works I'll put a link to Mystery Kings. They've done a nice simple little hovercraft that you might like. So have a look at their channel. Those of you who've watched a few of my videos will know I don't actually like to be beaten. So I've got rid of that stupid little um, laptop cooler fan and stuck one of my cheap, um, what are these, vibrating toothbrush motors. They're probably rated at one and a half volts or maybe three volts. So I've put that in there. Um, had to shut down the size of the inlet a bit because I've got a smaller fan blade on there. Still using the same battery but I've also put a, a vent out the back to try and stop it spinning round so it goes well hopefully in a straight line. It won't be very straight, they never are. but. Uh, Looks like I've overdone it actually. That's spinning far more than I meant it to. Luckily, I've left these rudders adjustable. So I've just bent that one back a bit. That's better.
So that'll do. So that was a little plastic tray, um, or polystyrene tray, uh, polystyrene cup, a few bits of polystyrene plate to make the extra bits and pieces, a bit of plastic bag to give us a skirt on the bottom, and a three and a half volt battery out of my wife's camera. And that's it. That's a nice little hovercraft, that one, and goes nicely.